Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wife Studio YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Miri moved into a room at her Utah bed in breakfast, so the father of 18 sat down with his wife Robin Brown and Mary to talk about her current living arrangement. Cody doesn't understand why I would utilize a room that we would rent out. Why does he care? said the proprietor of Lizzie's Heritage Inn. I don't know why he would care now, given that he hasn't worried about which room I slept in for the past 10 years. Mary claimed she had no desire to return to Utah after the family had departed for Las Vegas over 10 years before. There is nowhere I wish to live. She said, I don't want it to be my house. I don't want you to believe that I'm leaving. I'm sorry, but I still believe. Mary confessed. I was really just kind of hoping that he would care a little bit more. I didn't actually ask him to speak or do anything in particular. He simply lacked the sense of concern that I was hoping for. Conversations like this essentially advise me to continue leading a solitary existence as I have been doing. Since nothing else will alter, in his own confessional, Cody stated. What I'm seeing here is Robin being an advocate of me and Mary and our reconciliation in our marriage, and they are making me feel very uncomfortable. Following the Sister Wives season 17 tell-all, which led to a month of rumors about their breakup, Cody and Mary finally spoke out in a joint statement posted on social media. The ex-couple began their statement on January 10 with, In light of a recent unauthorized press release, we feel compelled to share our own truth, in our own way, and in our own timing. We have decided to permanently end our marriage relationship after more than 10 years of working on our relationship in our own special ways. Additionally, they stated that they are committed to kindness and respect toward each other and to all the members of our family. In order to proceed with forgiveness, grace, and love, they added, we are also committed to the ongoing healing of any and all relationships within the family. There is so much more to be told about this story, and I assure you, my truth will be told, the single mother, who shares son Leon with her ex, wrote in the caption of her Instagram image. For the time being, just know that Cody and I are at peace in my heart. Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wives Studio YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. In the midst of Miri moving into a room at her Utah bed in breakfast, the father of 18 children sat down with his wife Robin Brown and Mary to talk about her present living arrangement. Cody doesn't understand why I would utilize a room that we would rent out. Why does he care? said the proprietor of Lizzie's Heritage Inn. I don't know why he would care now, given that he hasn't worried about which room I slept in for the past 10 years. Mary claimed she had no desire to return to Utah after the family had departed for Las Vegas over 10 years before. There is nowhere I wish to live. She said, I don't want it to be my house. I don't want you to believe that I'm leaving. I'm sorry, but I still believe. Mary confessed. I was really just kind of hoping that he would care a little bit more. I didn't actually ask him to speak or do anything in particular. He simply lacked the sense of concern that I was hoping for. Conversations like this essentially advise me to continue leading a solitary existence as I have been doing, since nothing else will alter. In his own confessional, Cody stated, What I'm seeing here is Robin being an advocate of me and Mary and our reconciliation in our marriage, and they are making me feel very uncomfortable. Following the Sister Wives season 17 tell-all, which led to a month of rumors about their breakup, Cody and Mary finally spoke out in a joint statement posted on social media. The ex-couple began their statement on January 10 with, in light of a recent unauthorized press release, we feel compelled to share our own truth, in our own way, and in our own timing. We have decided to permanently end our marriage relationship after more than 10 years of working on our relationship in our own special ways. 
Additionally, they stated that they are committed to kindness and respect toward each other and to all the members of our family. In order to proceed with forgiveness, grace, and love, they added, we are also committed to the ongoing healing of any and all relationships within the family. There is so much more to be told about this story, and I assure you, my truth will be told. The single mother, who shares son Leon with her ex, wrote in the caption of her Instagram image. For the time being, just know that Cody and I are at peace in my heart. Fans of Sister Wives are aware that David Woolley and Christine Brown got married on Saturday, October 7. But no one from her family attended the event? Were any well-known faces present when the People piece about her and David was first published? To learn more, keep reading. Christine Brown had dreamed of nothing more than this. With David Woolley, the love of her life, she got married for the first time legally. Christine finally found Cody Brown, who had ignored her for years, once and for all. She had no idea what lay ahead of her when she first left the multiple family, and in a recent episode, she met with a matchmaker. But by Valentine's Day 2023, she had found a new beau, and by that point, they were happily engaged. They exchanged vows in front of 330 people, but no one from her sister wife's family attended. Only Janelle Brown, according to People, attended the wedding. It is uncertain if all six of Janelle's children and their various partners showed up. Many of them have expressed gratitude to Christine for taking care of them while their mother worked long hours. This was demonstrated in season one when Janelle woke up at first light and arrived home after the sun had set. She acknowledged that she was not meant to be a stay-at-home mom. Christine, on the other hand, flourished in it and was everyone's mom. Janelle's presence was not unexpected because Christine Brown had made it clear to David from the beginning that she was a part of the deal. When I told him, I was like, I have a lot of kids and I have a sister wife and if I go anywhere, Janelle needs to come with me, and all of her kids come with me too. There is more than simply myself. And he responds, okay, okay. It is hardly surprising that Cody Brown, Christine Brown's ex-husband, and Robin Brown, his last surviving spouse, did not attend. It is debatable, though, whether Christine sent an invitation to her previous sister-wife Mary Brown, who turned it down. She might not have come because she had just learned that Mary's brother, Adam, had passed away. Why was she invited, exactly? For Christine's daughter Gwendolyn Brown's big day in July, they all appeared to get along, thus Mary had a good chance of receiving an invitation. Janelle Brown's feelings had already begun to wane when Cody and Janelle Brown attempted romance once more. Janelle was ready to go on a romantic date with Cody to see if there was still chemistry after telling him she wanted to stay apart. In the Sister Wives episode that aired on Sunday night, Cody treated Janelle to a special birthday meal at the renowned Mariposa restaurant in Sedona, Arizona. Janelle informed Cody that she was looking forward to a fun, easy evening and that they felt like they were beginning over and given a chance to redefine their relationship during their car ride. Janelle, though, acknowledged during a confessional that she didn't believe there was much of a way forward for them. Janelle went on to say that Robin, 44, and Cody, 54, thought quite similarly and share many of the same aspirations in life. However, Janelle is adamant that she doesn't want to be in a union where she isn't equally considered. The cameras back in the car on the way to Mariposa made Janelle feel a little uneasy. They decided to turn the cameras off for their dinner date after she explained to Cody that she didn't want the strain of the intrusive cameras to mar their evening. Although Cody and Janelle's date night wasn't shown to us, Janelle described it in detail during another confessional. Janelle acknowledged that her and Cody's date was nice featuring lovely surroundings, delectable fare, and a tranquil atmosphere. But what about their romantic connection? That wasn't quite enough. This feels incredibly uncomfortable. I thought after slipping my hand into his out of habit, and I pulled it out of his grasp. Janelle said, it just didn't, it just didn't feel right anymore. 
Cody was baffled as to why he and Janelle couldn't work out their differences this time around after working through multiple previous separations, but Janelle provided a key justification. Janelle revealed, you know, there just isn't anything there anymore. There simply isn't. As Janelle also noted, her and Cody's marriage to many women has fallen apart over the past few seasons, as viewers of Sister Wives have witnessed their relationship deteriorate for years. It was during Tell All from the previous season that we first learned of their most recent split, and since then, it has appeared unlikely that they will get back together this time. Cody appears content in his monogamous marriage to Robin, his only legitimate wife, while Janelle is relishing her time as a single woman. It's interesting that the 54-year-old mother of six said she might get married to another poly couple in the future. Janelle told People that polygamy was a good fit for her despite the fact that she won't be interested in dating for at least another 10 years. She also hinted that Cody, rather than plural marriage, was the problem. Janelle responded, I'm open to multiple marriage, but I don't know whether there are really that many males who can pull it off. It's probably safe to say that Janelle and Cody's plural marriage is over this time given their inability to reignite their romance and their off-camera social media activity. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.